everybody my name is cb1 and welcome back to the what's next series on the channel now in this series we discuss what's next for any nba team but today we're actually going to be discussing the houston rockets and what's next for them now guys if you did enjoy this make sure to hit that subscribe button because we're on the road to 300 subs on youtube guys and let's hop straight into the video. So the first part I'm gonna take on is the player relationships, and then I'm get to the free agency, what trades they can make, and everything they can like, who can they resign, and what can they do to get them out of the contracts they're on. So now we're gonna, first we're gonna talk about the relationships to the team is Chris Paul and James Harden. So news came out around uh, probably last week that Chris Paul has requested a trade from the Houston Rockets, but Houston Rock, but Chris Paul he did deny that. But I don't believe that's the truth, so I'm just going to go off about what he said and saying he denied it. So, so mixed feelings going around. James Harden probably hearing things that Chris Paul supposedly said, but it might not be true. So, we're not really going to get into that part that much. But I believe half of the stuff, in my really own, own opinion, I believe half of the stuff might be true and half of the stuff might not be true. Because if he did really come up to the GM and say either trade me or Harden, Bro, you're 34, Harden's 30, I'm not trading Harden, he's a franchise player. Plus he's on a max contract, and he's on a max contract too. But let's, that takes us into the second uh, part in our video, Chris Paul's max contract. With Chris Paul's max contract, you really can't do anything with that contract. His base contract is at $38 million a year, and it, it's only going to go up in the old dead cap. It's $124 million. And he's 34 years old. I believe his contract was started in 2021, which that'll be two years. So that's a lot of money for a player that's going to be 36 or probably 37 if it's a three year contract. So to trade away that contract, I do. I don't believe you can trade away that contract. That contract's way too big to trade away. Now, I know I'm very dark. I don't have that much lighting. I wish I had a light right here. That would be amazing. I'm super dark in the video. Sorry for that. <laughs> but. There's no way I believe they can trade away Chris Paul. So that 38 million, they're gonna have to just wait it out. Harden's probably gonna be 33, 32 by the end of that contract. So all that money's gonna go away. But there's really, Harden's gonna be old and he's gonna have to kick his game down. Him scoring 38 up to 40 points in the regular season, he's not gonna be able to do that across the whole NBA. Like if you don't got if that second star, he's not gonna, James Harden's not gonna be able to do that when he gets older. That's basically what I'm saying. It's now getting into who can they actually trade for. Now, rumors came out they could actually trade for Jimmy Butler. I can actually see him trading for Jimmy Butler. I can see him throwing in um, Eric Gordon, P.J. Tucker. Getting into the cap holds real quick because you actually need to get to the cap holds uh, to actually discuss this part. Now, they have in Mar Shumpert, Chris, uh, Ken Furry, Gerald Green, and Austin Rivers. So those four are all in cap holds now. I don't see them bringing back Amar Shumper because it's $60 million. Who wants to really bring that back? So I would see them actually giving like Austin Rivers, Kenneth Free, Gerald Green, their contracts, bring them back to the team and try to make a trade now. So the trade I'll actually put forward to the 76ers, if it was a signing trade, was Austin Rivers, Gerald Green, Kit wait, no, Austin Rivers, Kenneth Free, uh, Eric Gordon. PJ Tucker and two first round picks or three first round picks. How many how many more you can throw? I would say four if I was 76ers because Jim Butler is that worth it. Cause if I was 76ers, I would completely rob the rocket. So I really did have to get into the capital to get into this thing. Okay. So that's the only point I can actually see him trading for. But the players that could be trading away from their team is Clint Capella. Now Clint Capella, he's a really good player. He didn't show up that much in the playoffs which was really bad he wanted to smoke with the warriors and right when the warriors came he didn't show he didn't show anything all right now the rumors came out he could be traded to the boston celtics now that would be not a good move for the houston rockets i really like clint capella personally he's like the stephen adams way more athletic probably deandre jordan stephen adams type player stronger like stephen adams athletic guy like deandre but yeah, they they rumors came out they want to trade him to the Boston Celtics. Now, if the trade actually did go down, I can but see the Rockets trying to get like a not Jason Tatum, but they won't give up him. 
like a Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown can play the three position, two, even though he can play the two. He can come off the bench, six man for James Harden. And James Harden just having the nights that he just put gas. That's when Jalen Brown come in the game. Or getting a guy like Marky from uh, no, Marcus Morris. I don't know if he's uh, still in that, still in his contract, but try to trade for him or get some young pieces and a lot of first rounds or a lot of second round picks from them. So right now, in, they're in the luxury tax right now, and I'm checking it right now. Uh, there's 6.7 million in the luxury tax. So it looks like every dollar, there's, that's what they have to owe to, I don't believe, I believe they got paid to the NBA. I don't really know. Now, right now, they're negative $17 million in cap space. So right now, they're really not looking to sign in. But I believe they have mid-level exception, which they're going to use to get James Harden help. But the only way to move on from all these contracts and Mars Shumpers off the books from that six million dollars, I believe sixteen million dollars. So if he's off the books, who really cares? And PJ Tucker, he's gonna be ten million dollars. He'll be sitting negative. So he's still gonna be negative sixteen six million dollars. With Aaron Gordon, fourteen million dollars. So you really you have to trade away PJ Tucker and Eric Gordon to get a somewhat decent free agent. But if you want to just trade them away to what's called Eugene Butler, you're still going to be negative, but that's actually going to push you a little bit forward with the up and coming Lakers getting better. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to deal with a back a backcourt of C, uh, Chris Paul, James Harden, and uh, Gene Butler. But if y'all did enjoy this video, it's really the end. There's really nothing else I can talk about by a power forward and center because you know it might not even keep Kink Clint Capella and PJ Tucker with their power forward. So you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like. Oh, I didn't mean no likes. Y'all can leave a like if y'all want. I don't really care. I'm next for likes. I don't care. Just hit that subscribe button, bro. We're on three we're on 300 subs. And guys, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.